beautiful day of driving. Come join us. I got an Americano. I got a cappuccino. And we already switched drinks. <laughs> he said that he ordered the cappuccino after I ordered the Americano because he knew that I'd want that. She likes sweet and milky. <laughs> Thanks, Not babe. Black. That was a really nice place to stay. We are now walking back basically to where we were last night where um, the train had dropped us off at. That's where our rental car pickup is. We have a one day car rental to drive along the Almafi coast. A couple hours of work done this morning. Um, it's almost noon and we are gonna have a beautiful day of driving. Buongiorno. We've been saying buongiorno, no one's here. We are five minutes late. We get a free car now, he's joking. Yes, YouTube. Uh, the address. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is definitely one of the best rental experience we've had so far in Europe. Italy definitely watches out for you. This guy asked if we needed a shuttle, and there was this older guy here that was like, "No, they're getting a rental car." He said it's only for one day, so he gave us a free upgrade. Holy cow, Peter! Ooh. That's nice. <laughs> So he upgraded us for free because he's like, oh, you're only doing one day and this is beautiful. One of our best rental experiences by far. All right, time to get out of Pompeii. I'm gonna put the camera away. So this will probably be our busiest part. So I gotta focus. Bye. Whoa, in like five minutes, it's already this gorgeous. It's gonna be all day. This only it'll a, get better. Yeah. This is a beautiful day. Peter, I didn't know this was going to be this pretty. Do I do? This is one of the musts. idea it would be this gorgeous as we're driving I just keep saying wow wow oh my goodness wow when Peter suggested to rent a car for a day to drive the Amalfi Coast I was like sure whatever like you know my, why not but I didn't really look at pictures and I like that because then I didn't know what to expect and this is amazing like so glad we did this and there are so many fruit stands along the way it's been super cool to see can't even slow down oh my goodness oh my goodness oh, how is this supposed to happen good question oh this is so tough so tight. These corners, and people whip around them. And we're just like creeping along like, don't hit us, please. Look at that house.
Like, is booking it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. imagine doing this drive in the summertime. This is like a little stressful with all these narrow roads but it's not too bad plus it's a weekday um, in the fall so yeah I would not do this drive um, in the summer. I would do one of the tour buses or maybe like a boat ride or something um, that way you can still see it but not have to be responsible for driving. Well, there's actually like a little house here. You go in. <laughs> it's nice following this guy because everyone moves over for him. Oh my goodness, a car has to park. Oh my. Obviously, the other car has to wait. Like, they can't come He's in not. here. He's not? No. Wow. He's like, alright, no more of this. I'm moving over. Oh my goodness, uh, oh my goodness, yeah! Go forward, just go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, you're plenty room, go forward. Oh my goodness, these are just so crazy. I have to like look out and be like, hey, you have enough space. Just barely. Oh my goodness. Such a gorgeous day along the Amalfi Coast. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, so we saw the coast like way faster than we thought because there wasn't really many pull off spots to like actually stop and look at stuff without like fearing that your car was gonna get scratched. Um, so we were actually gonna head back to Pompeii and drop the car off tonight. So we'll get there an hour before closing time. And last minute we're like, oh yeah, we have to hang up our clothes that we washed yesterday so they actually dry. So that's why our clothes are hung up now. Actually see Pompeii tomorrow and then um, get pizza in Naples and then head up to Florence. So we just booked all, all of that stuff. It's been a pretty drive today for sure. It's been pretty relaxing. Well, except for the cars and then they're about to hit you. That's not very relaxing. <laughs> This road is crazy. I feel like we're like in the middle of the road, but this is where we're supposed to be. Like all this traffic coming here and going around us. But yeah, it feels like we're like kind of in the middle of the road here. <laughs> Not a fan of the roads, Italy. Not a fan. This kid's like, what are you doing waiting? I'm like, uh, because there's traffic and I don't have the right of way here. Yeah, we definitely don't have the right of way. We have the stop sign. They don't, they just have a yield. Apparently and you can get in that lane maybe and merge over. I don't know. There's quite a few people turning too. Turn left onto He's on his phone, not paying attention. And you're on your camera. Well, I yes, I'm on my camera because I want to remember this. How terrible this, the roads of Italy are. This guy's now turning around. Right. Okay. Follow him. Follow him where when he goes, I guess. You just gotta poke your head out. Apparently. Look at this. Look at this. He's about to get hit. So apparently, this white car. This is how you get out. Oh. But now those people are glaring at him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is nuts. This is how, I think that's how you're supposed to get out, babe. There's another way around it. Yeah, well, I'm going after this guy. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Whoo! Craziness. Oh light my there. A light or a roundabout would be good. Yes! Look at these nice, wide roads now. My goodness. Breathe again here. Driving is a little nuts here. You don't rent a car in Italy. Just don't do it. Peter thought it would be wonderful. There's so much in the country you can explore. Um, the driver's just a little too aggressive here. I think right away is um, 
not a term they believe in here. This black car up here just went around this white car and is now weaving into traffic. This is nuts, people. Nuts. And it's four o'clock. It's not like it's five yet. Look at this black car. What is it doing? Up on the curb. Oh my goodness. All to get two cars up. Right, two cars. You made a whole, two whole cars. Good job, dude. Oh no. These roads are nuts. Peter was just saying that it's crazy to think if these Italians who just ignore like all the traffic laws, what they do when they go to Germany. Because Germany takes your picture anytime you even go like a kilometer or two over the speed limit. So yeah, because we've been going to the speed limit and they're, they're passing us. Do you see this? She just goes right in front of us. Oh my That's goodness. Why she, look at this. Look at these cars. Yeah, they just they got all kinds of war wounds because they're in a hurry to get somewhere. They don't care about their car. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. My goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you guys see Do this? not drive in Italy. <laughs> this car is literally right in front of this car right now. Oh. Eiffel Tower here. <laughs> oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. This is like a video game, except it's real life. <laughs> Cars coming at you and they shouldn't be. Ooh, an accident. Holding up traffic now. That should be Mount Vesuvius. They need a roundabout here. Oh my goodness. You can go. One out. This car's letting you go. Oh. Good job, Peter. You've become, you become a local. 65 bucks to see the Amalfi Coast and say we've done it. It was maybe a little bit overrated. It was really pretty for sure. It's just very stressful when you're driving. So see it if you want to, but don't drive yourself. Take the trolley. Take the trolley take or a take a boat. Because <laughs> that was an expensive five hours and kind of stressful. So apparently this is a really nice car because the guys at the gas station were whistling at the car. Whistling and a thumbs up. Almost there. Oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. oh, oh Peter, 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 Peter. Yeah, she's like, your style of drive doesn't work here. I know. That just gets you more trouble. Peter's hit the good. roundabout, take the Whoa, what about right away? Doesn't apply here, see, see? It's just push your way in. Oh my goodness. So that's really funny. The lights are on in the Hertz office, but he is not here. Uh, so someone had called his personal cell and he's on his way. So it's just funny because it's still business hours, um, but he's not here. So the way of doing business in Italy is way different. <laughs> so there was a girl that was wondering how to verify the tickets and she had a very thick accent, but she was speaking English to us because she heard us talking in English. So she came over and approached us and I'm like listening intently to her, trying to understand what she's saying. And Peter goes, I'm sorry, we only speak English. And I'm like, Peter, she is speaking English. <laughs> I felt terrible, it was bad. Yeah, I was like, okay, so then I understood what she was saying and I showed her how to, uh, get her a ticket uh, for the train stamp, so she was good. So I was like, yeah, I can actually help somebody now. Nice car. <laughs> yeah, it's great. That's why when we got gas, people were like, ooh, Alfa Romeo, ooh. Ah. Now, normally we landed 120, 102 euro for one day. Right? Oh, wow. Ah. Well, thank you, it was very nice. And I can see this video. <laughs> Yay. On your YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Dario and he is definitely one of the the best he's very thorough um, really friendly and yeah he made the process really easy it was awesome we finally got to drive the car that was a car that was made in the same country we were in so we got to drive an Italian car in Italy it that's true normally we've been driving like uh, what like a French car in the UK so funny this is the hotel pace 
and apparently that's what we are looking for and this is it here you go this is so nice look at this huge so this is a towel warmer but it's great for drying clothes too that was a great stop we got enough groceries for tonight for dinner breakfast and even snacks tomorrow on the bus Perfect. 12 euro. For 12 euro. Yeah. And I asked Peter, okay, can we have gelato every day we're here? Well, we didn't have any yesterday. So we have to get some today. Woohoo! Oh, that looks good. Ooh, look at that. We've got the dark, dark chocolate, milk chocolate with caramel, and then the mango and pineapple one. Come upstairs to the terrace. Yeah. He said it was 95% dark chocolate. And I thought, that's like really high. I don't think I'll like that. But it's so good. Especially if you get a little bit with the mango too. Oh, it's really good. We always go a little overboard on the refrigerated stuff. Because like, oh, we want yogurt. Oh, we want cheese. Oh, we want prosci prosciutto. Or, pros I don't know how to say it. I'm so, oh, I got some. I got some extra gelato hanging out there. <laughs> I'm get to eat it all tonight because it needs to be refrigerated. Fontal. F-O-N-T-A-L. 